Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you four sneakers that every guy should own. So building a wardrobe can be very tricky, and I know that from personal experience, it's just as hard for women as it is for men, especially if you're someone that's looking to build a capsule wardrobe, or if you're someone that just wants a very versatile wardrobe that you're gonna be able to wear all the time. The worst thing in the world is walking into your closet and thinking, I have nothing to wear. And this happens to me more than I would like to admit because I went through a phase where I wasn't buying versatile pieces. So some of the best advice I can probably give you is to buy things that are versatile, which is why I'm gonna be going over four shoes today that every guy should own. These are just really going to make it easy for you when you're getting ready, when you're planning your outfits. These are just effortless, timeless things that you should own that are gonna go with every outfit. So you're never gonna get your outfit completely ready and then look down and wonder what shoes to wear. If you have these four pairs of shoes you're probably gonna be pretty good to go. Before I start, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified for when I release new content. It helps me out, which in return helps you out, and I do appreciate it. Number one on my list, we have a white sneaker. And I talk about white sneakers all the time on my channel, and I know a lot of you are sick of hearing it, but a white sneaker is probably the most versatile shoe you can own. A white sneaker is casual, but it can also be dressed up a little bit more than a traditional athletic sneaker would be. It's actually a really good substitute for the athletic sneaker, so you aren't wearing a pair of athletic sneakers with a pair of denim. I think it can work if you have a certain style, if you're a little bit more on the street style side, um, but if you're just wearing like boot cut jeans with an athletic sneaker, absolutely not. I have this in so many videos as a no-no, so opt for that white sneaker instead. So I would recommend getting just a basic like solid white sneaker. It just is gonna be the most versatile for you. I found that if you get a white sneaker that has a little bit of color on it, it can start to limit the outfits that you wear it with. So if you just go for that solid white, you're gonna get more wear out of it. And I know that keeping these clean can be very tricky. So I would recommend a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser if they're like a leather shoe. Um, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser is a godsend. They are amazing. Um, really makes your shoes look like they are fresh out of the box. So highly recommend that as well. If you have a white sneaker, Sneaker, you're gonna wanna make sure you keep it clean because there's nothing worse than a dirty white sneaker. Exhibit A, nobody wants a dirty white sneaker. And these are Stan Smiths, these are awesome, but they are getting a little bit up there in age. These are my boyfriend's sneakers, um, but he hasn't been taking care of them. They have not been cleaned with a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and they look bad. So if these were just cleaned up with a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, they would look good as new. So I highly recommend Stan Smiths as well. I also actually like the gum sole. Um, too, but it is more versatile, I think, to have the all white than it is to wear these. These look a little bit more casual and you definitely could not dress these up as much as you could the solid white Oliver Cabell, so keep that in mind as well. And if you absolutely hate white sneakers and you're thinking to yourself, Courtney, I will never wear a white sneaker, you can get another color. I would just make sure you opt for a solid color, a solid brown, a solid black, a solid navy, a solid gray, something like that if you are very against the white sneaker. But like I said, stick to the solids because you get more wear and versatility out of them in the long run. Number two, we have an athletic shoe. So this one's gonna depend a little bit on the type of athletic activities that you're doing most often. My boyfriend has these because he runs a lot and while these maybe aren't the most stylish shoe, they are great for running. So it is really important to keep in mind the activity that you're doing. If you're in the gym lifting a lot and that's what you find yourself normally doing for a workout, I would recommend a more flat shoe. Um, I know a lot of guys wear Converse. Those are not my favorite looks wise, but if you're doing the activities for them, I think it can work. So I wouldn't really recommend wearing an athletic shoe unless you are doing some sort of athletic activity or if you're running errands, maybe you're wearing a pair of joggers, um, an outfit that's more like chill and athleisure-y. Um, I think you can totally get away with wearing the athletic sneaker, but normally I would not recommend wearing an athletic sneaker if you're going to a bar or you're going out on a date or something like that. I would opt for the white sneaker or just some kind of stylish sneaker instead of that athletic sneaker. I've seen a lot of guys wear shoes like these and also like the Adidas Ultra Boost. If you're someone that wears sweatpants a lot, you wear joggers a lot, you look like you're a Lululemon brand ambassador, then you can totally get away with wearing 
wearing a pair of athletic shoes with that outfit. Number three on my list, we have a pair of boots. So specifically here, my all-time favorite are a pair of leather lace-up boots. I love a nice pair of leather lace-up boots on a guy. I think these are one of the most attractive things that men can wear. So this pair I have with me today is specifically from Thursday Boots. So these are gonna get a little bit beat up and that's okay, especially if you live somewhere that's a little bit colder. The weather is not gracious to our shoes here in Ohio, so I totally get it. But the reason I like these so much is because even when they get a little bit messed up, they still look great and it kind of just adds character and makes them look distinguished. So highly recommend Thursday Boots. If you haven't heard of them, go check them out. Not sponsored by the way. So a pair of boots is just a perfect middle ground between a sneaker and a dress shoe. They really can be dressed up or down. So the boot you choose is kind of going to depend on your personal style a little bit. So if leather lace-up boots aren't your thing, I would recommend a Chelsea boot or a Chukka boot. I have both of those with me as well. I have a Chelsea boot right here and a Chukka boot. Honestly, Chukka boots are not my favorite. Um, the leather ones are a little bit better for me than the suede ones. There's just something about them that I don't like. I think it's because they're really popular in like college. I would see a lot of guys wearing boat shoes and then chucka boots. So I think it's kind of scarred in my brain, but I love a Chelsea boot. I know some guys are a little bit weird about these. I know there's tons of memes and things going around about um, guys that wear Chelsea boots, the skinny jeans with the Chelsea boots. So it is kind of stereotypical, but I think a nice pair of Chelsea boots can look great as well. Even even though the leather lace-up are my favorite, I still do love a Chelsea boot. So boots look great with a pair of jeans, a button-up, a pair of jeans and a sweater, a pair of chinos with a sweater or a button-up. They really are super versatile, which is why I love them so much. So regardless of what your personal style might be, there is a boot out there for you. Even if leather lace-up boots, which are my personal favorite, are not your thing, that is totally okay and there's gonna be a boot out there that fits your style. And last on my list, we have a pair of dress shoes. So dress shoes are an absolute must if you ever find yourself in a scenario when you're dressing up at all. So if you're ever gonna go to a wedding, a funeral, a fancy event, really anything where you need to be dressing up a little bit more than you would on a normal day is going to be absolutely crucial that you have a pair of dress shoes. I hate when I see a guy wearing a beautiful suit and then I look down at his shoes and he's wearing a pair of boat shoes. You guys, if you are out of college, throw those boat shoes away and get yourself a nice pair of dress shoes. So my personal favorite are the brown Oxford dress shoes. I think these look absolutely amazing. These are my favorite because I think they are the most versatile. They look nice with pretty much anything. And these are something that don't just look nice with a suit. You can wear these with a pair of jeans and a button up. You can wear these with a pair of jeans and a blazer. So these are really versatile. I love the brown. That's why I love them so much because you can get so much wear out of them. So as much as I do love the brown, I also love a black dress shoe. These specifically are wingtips from Johnson & Murphy. I love these as well and they're super versatile too. So you really can't go wrong with either one. Um, these are just a little bit more intricate. They have a little bit more detailing than the traditional brown Oxford, um, but both are really great choices. Regardless of what style or what color you decide to go with, just having a nice pair of dress shoes is an absolute staple for your wardrobe. So guys, that is all I have for the four dress shoes that every guy should own. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Did I miss anything? I think, of course, you can have a little bit more fun with your shoe choices. This is just more for someone that needs the basics and kind of is building their capsule minimalist wardrobe. These are like the minimum things that you should own. I think having these makes sure that you have a shoe to wear no matter what scenario you're in. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I did want to mention that I am no longer able to reply to every single comment. I have probably thousands of unread messages in my DMs and just me being one person, it's impossible for me to reply to everyone. However, I do post a lot of Q and A's on there that I answer publicly on my story. So if you wanna connect with me or you have a question, that's a really good place for you to do it. So I would recommend checking out my old YouTube videos to see if one of those could answer your question or checking out my Q and A highlight on my Instagram because I've answered a lot of questions on there and it could be a question that you have. So if you look at both of those things and your question still is not answered, it doesn't hurt to send me another message to move it to the top of my Instagram inbox or just wait until I do a Q&A and I will try to answer it there. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.